Boindale Bush Camp. Yay! So it's a real off-grid place. It's an absolute awesome destination. Um, as if you're sort of set up to go off the grid. Oh, there's, there's a dump um, point here though. Yeah, and there's a dump point. Toilets. Yeah, there's toilets and dump, dump point. Dump point and toilet. Um, but as you say, if you need water, yeah, get yourself some water in Calliope before you get in here. If you're looking for fresh water in Calliope, before you're heading out to Boindale Bush Camp, if that's where you're heading, look at this. I fresh don't water. come with it. Fresh water tap. So if you need to fill your water tank, uh, for drinking water, shower water, whatever you want, um, there is a tap here. It's right beside. There's a dump point just here. So um, yes, yeah, so just come on down as you come through. Either if you're coming back into town, do some shopping or something like that. Yeah, it needs some jerry cans filled up. We just take a bit extra water just to play it safe. We don't know how long we're out there for. people here at the moment but we just sort of found out the spot a nice little spot here right at the um the edge so it's sort of yeah right where she's standing is where we're going to go pretty much yeah straight in there so we've got a nice little fire pit just over here somewhere so and that's our view for the next couple of days we'll be looking out that so we're right on the bank <laughs> anyway, so we found our spot here. So we'll see how we go. Um, oh, a few other vans starting to roll in, but yeah, no, it's sort of, it'll, um, it'll be good there, so I think. Hold on. Yeah, the sun settles down a bit now. Someone's putting some funny jokes out there. <laughs> it's playing up, so it no. settles down. Okay, the sun is setting down now here at Boindar Bush Camp. Absolutely beautiful spot though. It is as far as you can see, it's just like, I'd imagine that, you know, back in 2018, that was all water. It's all land now, because of all the water that's gone out of the dam, but it's just life. This is how it happens. But there's actually, um, yeah, there's quite a few people here, actually, surprisingly. This but is then, free, This is free camp for seven days. Yeah, free camp for seven days, so it's understandable, but as you say, there's, um, that's there's, your toilet block over there. Where am I pointing? Over, am I in yeah, the right area? Pretty over close. There. So I go over here. Look, there you go. Okay. So that's the long drops. Yeah. So it's, it's, and they're clean. They're clean and tidy. So they're a nice little place. Um, but yeah, no, as long as you, you just got to bring your own water. The other good thing about it is, um, yeah, you need your own power too. There's no power points out here. You've got to rely on that sun that's settling down. Yeah, the sun, which is absolutely beautiful now. But yeah, all behind us, you can actually, actually, we'll get to walk over, over here somewhere no, under the mango tree. We have to walk over here. I need a mango tree. Half a mango tree. Oh no, yeah. the mango tree is still good. Oh yes, yeah, the other tree has died off. The other tree. And um, yeah, you can see it there. A bit of water there now. So all this used to be all um, used to be all full of water. We used to swim there, didn't we? Used to get mm -hmm. swimming there quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We used to go swimming quite a bit down there. Oh yes, we did. We used to kayak over there. We used to too. kayak and swing. There's the trees over, over here. We used to swing off the trees. Oh uh, yeah, no, it's but, what a difference. Look at the view, like on the mountains. Yeah. Look at this. And go yeah. this way. Hang on. Go that way. Yeah, yeah the mountains. Oh look, oh, look yeah. at that for a view. Oh like, look at that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So this is just some of the things that's um, in the Boyne Valley area. It's not necessarily here, but it is around the area where we are. So this is the rundown of Boindale Bush Camp. It is Lake Awonga. So Lake Awonga, that's on the Bruce Highway side coming through that way. So Calliope, so to, to your left up there further. Yep, up there, that's all Calliope area. So Bruce Highway and that sort of stuff. But then we're camped, which drove us all the way around, uh, which is a half an hour from Calliope Township. 
down here to Boyndale Bush Camp itself. So that's where we are. And it is, it's worth it. It definitely is worth it. What else do you do when you go up the road looking for firewood, ready for your camp that night? You hop out the side of the truck and you, pick up, and you pick up 10 cent cans. 10 cents, we've got 70 cents so far. 70 cents. Woohoo! 10 cents, 20 cents. Back there, 20 cents. So far she's pulling about 70 cents. <laughs> hey, it all helps with a bit of fuel, eh? Yeah, so we're just having a bit of a drive around um, to go on and get some firewood. And there's been a heap of cans in that side of the road. So the girl's sort of running on the side of the truck as we're looking for uh, firewood and picking up cans at the same time. So it's a, it's a double whammy for us. So good stuff. 40 cents. 40 exactly. cents just yeah. in this stop. Yeah, 40 See? cents there. It's about Do your bit. Clean up the world. So it's about a dollar so far. So there's a dollar's worth for fuel. Yeah, about a dollar thirty. Okay, dollar thirty. Well, there's a dollar thirty for fuel. See? Just by doing that a little bit, by looking for firewood at the same time. So we've just come back. Sorry about the wind. We've just come back. We've just been up, um, we've got a 30k drive virtually from Boyndale Bush Camp up the road. Just to get some firewood. And we found a couple of old dead trees on the side of the road. So we just chop them up, use it, why not? And um, we bought two bags. But what I want to show you, over those 30k trip, you would not believe what we did. So I'm going to take you down here and show you, and just show you what I'm talking about. So, what I'm talking about is, over a 30k trip, we actually, look what we got on the side of the road. 10 cents. 10 cents. That'd have to be probably 30 bottles. What I'll do is I'll count them and I'll put them in my foundation, my foundation over there, and then I'll let you know. So yeah, just so that 30 k's. Yeah, it took us probably I don't know 10 minutes to drive out the 30 k's, but it took us about an hour to drive it back. But hey, I think it's worth it. No, that's what we found on the side of the road. But also, what we did see is a lot of milkshake cups and coffee cups. Come on, guys, seriously, you know. Just take him to the nearest bin, or whatever. There she is, she's crushing. Anyway, I'll let you know what we um, ended up with for sure as she uh, crushes them all up. No worries. Why am I doing this? Yes. Okay, well, instead of putting a can in Hole. like a normal can, right, if you crush them just like that, see, so just like push his guts in and put his head down and put his bum up, it takes up less room. And Instead of it being that way, that way. And the recycle centre will allow that? Um, yes, absolutely. Beautiful. All right. So you get more in your bag mm. when you take them to the recycling centre? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right, oh, so what was your final count? Okay, so that was 15 cans. Yep. 21 glass. I don't like collecting glass because it just... It's Not glass. when you're travelling. And 21 bottles. So we've got about 32 bottles all up. So $3.20. Won't seem much, but it all adds up. A little bit here, a little bit there. Beautiful. And we did our bit to clean up the place. So if we all do our own bit, happy days. And you get paid for it. Boom, boom. Yep. You never know what you see. Look at that. Are they the, um, no, um, what do you call them? Birds. Yeah, birds. If you look at the mountains today and all the fog over the top of them, geez, it looks beautiful. Well, we're actually in shock. Um, obviously the rain they've had recently around the Calliope, Boyndale area has actually filled the dam up a bit because we would actually drive into this little track up here and that takes you to the little water edge but obviously it's all underwater so if it's all underwater it means the water's up again which is awesome so that's good so well, there you go but no we're actually blown away that it's um it's that high because that's all water. So so we would drive down there and then you get off that little track off the side there. So but nah, well there you go, eh? But it's good to see that it's actually getting more water in it. There's so water. that's good. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. Since it must be obviously that rain that they've had, so anyway. Well someone left the tap running. Yeah, probably, eh? Yeah. So anyway. 
All right, we're going to keep um, just ticky turn around. Have a look. It's beautiful. There's definitely more water. Looks so good. Got some little duckies down there swimming around happily. You can see them. Look how low the clouds are in the mountains. It's beautiful, eh? Right there. Whoop. Not too fast. Same old story though, isn't it? The photos and videos don't actually show justice of what it's actually like. Up here to the, I guess they call it lookout area, uh, here at Boyndale Bush Camp. It's just up in the um, top of the ridges here coming down, which gives you a bit of a bird's view of the, um, the Awonga Dam. And this is also where you will find the dump point. So it's nice and handy to the campgrounds. So once again the campgrounds just sort of go back down here and around to your left and follow it back down it's down to your campground but this is the yeah bit of a lookout area beautiful little spot up here pity about the weather but you can't be happy with everything so yeah so the weather's not the greatest here today but still you can get out the bat and look around have things see what's going on um so yeah as i say we're up at the top here at the moment uh, up at the, I don't know what they actually call it, it's, it's a lookout, it's a Boyndale Bush lookout, top of the ridge, something like that, so um, you get to actually see the whole, uh, not all the dam, but you get to see a part of the dam anyway, but on that note, uh, we went for driving down the bottom, as we said, if you, if, I, if I put it in, there's the, um, the dam's actually come up. A lot. Yeah, compared yeah, to last actually, time. Actually, it's good. Yeah, so it's obviously all the rain they've had here recently. Um, but apart from that, look, you know, if you guys just want to get yourself away from somewhere um, that's sort of in the off the grid but close enough, you're only half an hour out of Calliope, this is the place to go. But you've got toilets, and yeah. there's water that you can get again at Calliope if you need to get more water. Which I'll put I'll put that in there somewhere as well. But oh, and there's a dump point here. And the dump point here where we're trying to. And there's a dump out. point at Calliope. Yeah, but this is um, but here, if you, as long as you've got water with you, you're right. Yeah. You can stay here free for seven nights. Um, which is even fantastic. You can have fire pits, and then they, they, you can go for a drive from here. Like you don't have to be sitting here the whole time. You just go for a drive. We went for a drive at yesterday at uh, yeah, Bobo, Bobo, Yobo, U B O B A, or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, anyway. Baba, That's what we got at ten senses. But there's a, oh, you know, yeah, we get to. Have, I've got your nose. Um, but there's a yeah, there's a little shop down there. There's, there's another camping spot stay down, but I think you've got to pay down that Uber, 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 Uber whatever. <laughs> I don't know. It's something like that. Um, if I remember, I'll put something in. I'll put a link in somewhere here, maybe if I think yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah somewhere yeah, yeah. like that. So, but, but look, guys, honestly, it's a beautiful spot. Um, very serene, very relaxing. Yeah, and there's there's a bit of cloud around today. It's, it's been a bit of a rainy day today, so there's a bit of cloud behind us up in the mountains, which is that's fine. But you know, it doesn't worry us too much. But we're gonna get back to camp because um we got a roast pork to cook. What do you I call it? A pork roast. Pork roast. Roast pork. I got the camp oven heating up down at the moment. Temperatures on, you know, not too hot. Preheating the pre oven. Preheating the oven, you might say. Yeah. So hopefully it's not too hot by the time we get back down there. But anyway, happy days. Talk to you soon. Bye.
Boondale Bush Camp. Honestly, it's a great little spot. Look at the view you got there. Check that out. You know, that's just. Seriously. We're not talking about her. We're talking about the view. Oh. So hang on. Go, there you go. There you go. Check the view. Hey, you can still see me. Hello. There you go. Um, look, no, honestly, guys, great little spot. Eh? It really is. Uh, we've had rain the last day and a half, but hey, look, it didn't phase us too much. You'll have generators within reason. So oh, we still cooked the roast. Still did the roast, which um, you probably would have seen that hopefully by now. Um, but look, you know, yeah, now it's a really great place. Um, come on out here. Just make sure you got water with you. It's free for seven days. Seven days. Seven I think days. it's seven days in 30 days. So you can stay for seven nights, go away, come back another 21 days and do another seven nights or something like that. But look, if you're looking for a great little stopover, um, we just found out this weekend is actually a show holiday in Tannum Sands. Mm -hmm. So even though it's a long weekend for the local area up here in Gladstone, there's not that many people there. No rubbish bins. Take your rubbish with you. So whatever rubbish you bring, just take it with you. So yeah. thanks. But anyway, it's, no, it's, it's a nice little spot up here, so, um, so come on up, so anyway. All right, um, I think that's about it. We're on the road again, I think, now, aren't yep, we? Yeah, moving on. Yeah, so um, we're going to move on from here now. So whatever you do, just get out there. Get out and find your ultimate lifestyle adventure, guys. Honestly, you will not regret it when you start doing things, getting out and about. You really will, like, go for a drive. Anyway, all right, just remember, ULA. Bye. Catch us next time. All right, See stay us. safe. Be happy. Thanks for watching and don't forget hit that like and subscribe button and follow us as we find our next ultimate lifestyle adventure. Cheers guys.